Hey, it's Alchemist Camp, where we learn elixir by building things. And last time, I built a very simple website, not using Phoenix, not using Plug, just using the Cowboy server. And that very simple website is going to be the very first version of the alchemist.camp website, where eventually all these YouTube videos are going to be. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to deploy it using something called nanobox.io. It uses containers in a pretty nice way so that you can have your local development environment, doesn't matter what operating system you're on, and you can control the containers from the command line, and then make sure you've got a working setup and deploy it very seamlessly. There are other, other ways we can go about it in the future, especially if you wanna use OTP and network multiple boxes together, but we are far, far away from those kinds of scaling concerns. So type in my password and my name off screen. All right, I'm logged in here. You can see I have no apps. Um, the first thing you need to do is download the desktop. It recognizes that I'm on Windows. And I used a virtual box because Docker native doesn't work with Windows Home Edition. You have to have either Pro or Enterprise and even if you do have enterprise uh, it's due to hyper threads and some various issues uh, it's a lot harder to get working properly i've already downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again but you can see what the bundle is if you're on a mac or linux you'll see a slightly different screen virtualbox runs on all three it's really whatever platform you're on you'll use virtualbox or else docker native and i'm going to launch a new app and it's called alchemist.camp. Oh, no dots. All right, fine. Alchemist-camp. And I have already connected Nanobox to DigitalOcean. They work out of the box with DigitalOcean, with AWS, with several other hosting options. Um, so I'm just going to provision a $5 a month server. Let's see what the specs are. It's a pretty weak one, but it's more than enough for the traffic I'm going to be getting for a good while. So um, once you click that, they will basically take over everything needed to make your server go and now deploy my app. If you click this, um, it'll tell you what to install, what to develop. There are a whole bunch of docs for different languages. They are big Elixir fans. They have plenty of docs for using Phoenix. Not so much for such a bare bones cowboy server like we're doing, but that's all right. They'll take care of SSL and TLS for you. And did I mention this is free for solo developers? It's crazy. I'm going to set up a new SSL certificate and Got to fill in a whole bunch of stuff. So alchemist.camp and so on. I'm not going to fill out all of this on screen. They use Let's Encrypt. And once you've got it set up, they will do all of the renewing for you. And you don't even have to think about it. It's actually super convenient. So I'm going to make a new bundle. and they're not available till the platform is fully set up. Okay, it says the install is done, and now I can go finish setting up my Let's Encrypt certificate, except that the page has to be accessible first. So what I'm gonna do is finish setting up the app from the local side. The way it works is we make a box file, and it's super simple because we don't have a database, we don't have anything else set up, this goes in the root directory of your project. And I made an run.config. The engine is Elixir. You could specify the version, I'm not doing that here. And then web.main has a start field, and that's how we'll start the server, IEX-S mix. And that's it. And now from PowerShell, We'll set up a local DNS, which is just for our system, so that we can run the app locally and test it. So nanobox 
DNS add local cowboy dot local. Now we'll be able to run this from the container and then access it on, on my own machine from nanobox run. This will take a minute to get started, so I'll pause recording while that happens. Okay, it's finished starting up, and you can see we're inside a Linux container, and we can run a server. Basically, we'll just run the exact same command that we've got above, iex-s mix, and it's running, and we can go to local system and type in the alias that we gave it earlier dot local and still port 4000 and here is our app we'll exit from here uh, control c to get out of iex and then exit to get out of the box and now we can set up uh, basically a dry run of a deployment. So similar kind of deal to set up a DNS, nanobox DNS, add dry dash run cowboy.stage stage. Okay, and now we'll run it. Nanobox deploy dry dash run. This takes a little bit longer to go. Deploying the app. There we go. And it looks like it started Cowboy automatically because of this web.main start block. And let's give it a shot. Uh, looks like this has to be on port 8080, so it's getting refused. Okay, all is set up. I had to change a couple of things, so I'll show you what I did. Um, everything was working fine locally, but for staging, I had to change the port to 8080. Um, and this is also the port used for production. And then I just ran those commands that I mentioned a little bit ago. The uh, nanobox deploy dry run and nanobox deploy um, after the dry run i was pretty quickly able to see the site up i changed it from stage to st and then nanobox deploy took forever you can see in the console here i'm not sure why it took so long this time this is a really small app but i've done it before with larger phoenix apps but I was also spinning up a whole new uh, a whole new server on Docker and stuff like that, so that could have been part of it. After I made that change and I got everything working on staging and I deployed, then I went back to my Nanobox dashboard and I went to the SSL certificate. It says this IP is not resolving to the host name that I gave it, which is alchemist.camp, and so I had to go into my domain name settings in DigitalOcean, uh, which is not my domain name provider, by the way. Um, it's just my host. I already had these three set up and I had to set the host name to direct to this IP address. I just hovered up here. I previously had a different IP address that was on DigitalOcean, but hover down here and click it and It'll make a new entry, which I've already done, so I'm not going to do that again. And after doing that, waiting a little bit of time, then it can resolve. And I should say before I did this, I checked to make sure that uh, the IP address was loading the site. So everything is up here, <laughs> what little there is, and it's all deployed and set up except for the SSL certificate. So we'll get that right now. Create the bundle. And this asks for, oh really, did I? Oh, I think I already put in my, uh... okay, yeah. So this will ask you to put in um, your public key. So you've got to generate an SSH key on your computer and then put in the public key. And also to connect with DigitalOcean or Amazon or whatever service you're using, 
you've got to get a key from that side and authorize Nanobox to be spinning up servers for you and so forth. But that's pretty much it. Um, this is pretty fast, all things considered. And in order to update the app, it's actually super convenient. Um, you do have to wait a little bit of time for the deploy, especially if you're on a laptop like I am, because you're spinning up the virtual machine and all that. But um, we could change, say, this, this route for the two from the number two to T-O-O, -O, save it, and then redeploy, and that's it. It'll start everything up, and it'll redeploy, does take a little bit of time spinning everything up, but uh, it can be automated for a real production site. We would we would want to have before hooks to run all of our tests, um, and you can set that up in your box file. So while we're waiting for this to run, really quickly, I'm going to show a box file uh, that I've used for a Phoenix project. Um, so I'm specifying the engine configuration. This is actually optional, both for Phoenix and for a Cowboy setup, uh, but you've got to include Node.js and I notified tools for the automated reloading, allow some cache directories for Node, um, extra path directories for the bin. Then before spinning up, like when you're deploying, just before the new process comes on, you've got to run ecto create, in case you haven't created a database yet, ecto migrate, and then makes the Phoenix digest. And there's also database information. And you've got to set the build directory to be writable so that Phoenix can write the things it needs to, uh, and then start a node and mix Phoenix server. So it's, it's quite a bit more complicated, which is part of why I started with this really, really simple setup. So we can see the, uh, uh, the most straightforward case and we'll gradually add to this. Okay, so it says the deploy is on the way. Check my dashboard for progress. So I go here, and I don't see for sure if it's done or not. Okay, I believe it is. Oh, and by the way, while we're here, um, there's a lot of cool stuff. Like we get a logger, load balancer, monitor, message bus, warehouse, stats on everything. Uh, if we had an emergency and, and say, uh, went viral on Reddit, well, then all you need to do to scale up a server is click one of these and you're good to go. All right, let's uh, refresh this. See if we, we don't have two anymore. We've got T-O-O. -O. So that's all it took. Just make a change, save it, and Nanobox deploy, you're good to go. All right, that wraps up this lesson. Uh, it's not really a lesson, this, uh, this behind the scenes peek into me launching um, one of the least sophisticated websites ever. And if you enjoyed it, click subscribe, click the bell so you get more updates. And until next time, code on.